All right, if you look, this is a factory access fitting on the R290. They are not illegal. Manufacturers don't want it. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I purge an unit before I braze on it. She just got a back compressor. Just hooked up to a nitrogen tank. On the low side, I'm going to cut this process tube off. Here, start to hiss. So right now, that's the charge blowing out. I have the nitrogen going. I like to let it blow itself out completely. To give it a little bit of blow out. Where's my lighter? Just kidding, just kidding. So, I turn my tank on. I'm gonna put about 50 psi in it. And I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna give it probably about a minute, two minutes. Then I'll check back on it. But by that time, you should be good to go. Make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area or underneath the hood. A lot of times they're not under hood, I'll try to push them outside. If I can't push them outside, I'll put a temporary tap on here. I've got a 50-foot hose. I will run a 50-foot hose outside. I will run that hose into a hood. Anywhere I can to get rid of that propane or isobutane, depending on what the system is. So, we use the Invicon gas mate that we use for checking for R290 leaks and such. Just shut the pressure off. I think it takes eight hours to zero out. We'll see if we're clear. Still got a little bit of residual. Turn it back on. So, I'll let go for another minute. Let it take a while.
and we're clear finally. So it is now safe to braise, cut on, do whatever you need to do.